Hello everybody and welcome to my channel AJ Script Media. Previously, we have discussed what is Gatsby and the new features of Gatsby 5. So in today's topic, we will be discussing how to install Gatsby which is the second part of this project. In this tutorial, we will install and discuss the following. First will be Node.js. It is an open source backend JavaScript runtime environment which will be used when we run Gatsby. Next is Git. It is a free open source distributed versioning tool which will be used to track changes to our code and also used to clone the Gatsby repo. Next, Gatsby CLI which will be used to create, run, build, and serve our Gatsby site. Next, Visual Studio Code. This will be our IDE where we will write our code. Next is the project overview. I will show you the website homepage that we will be creating. And lastly, we will create a new Gatsby site. First in our list is Node.js. So to download Node.js, let's go to their website, Node.js.org. If you know guys, JavaScript before is only on client side, means you can only run on a browser. But using Node.js, we can run JavaScript outside the browser. So let's download the latest version, 18.12.1 LTS. LTS means long time support. Click and save and wait for it to finish. Okay, now it's done. So now I will double click and install Node.js. This package will install Node.js and NPM. Click continue. Again continue and agree. And then install. And if you have a password, you need to type your password. And there you go. It may take some time. Okay, the package has installed Node.js and NPM. Let's close this and let's move to Trust because you don't need the installer anymore. And in order to verify if Node.js was successfully installed, we can use our terminal. And let me increase the font size. And just type Node-V and hit enter. As you can see guys, I have the same version, v18.12.1. So if you install Node.js, you will also install npm. npm will be used to install Node packages. So to check if we have installed npm, let's try to type this command npm-v and hit enter. We got version 8.19.2. For you to check all the packages in Node, you can go to the website npmjs.com. Here we can try to search Gatsby. And as you can see, it will list all the Node packages with name Gatsby. So we will use npm to install plugins that we will need in our site later as we go along. So next we need to install is Git. Let's go into the website gitscm.com. So Git is an open source versioning tool which is widely used by developers. It will help us maintain different versions of our code. And if you have different teams working in one project, it makes it easier to manage. And behind the scene guys, Gatsby is using Git to download the needed files for your Gatsby site. Okay, so to download, let's click this button, download for Mac, since I'm using Mac OS. And before you will install, we need to have Homebrew installed in our system. Let's copy the command on how to install. And by using our terminal, let's paste the code and hit enter. And type your password. Now let's hit enter again. It may take some time, so I will post the video and I will continue again once it is downloaded. Okay, Homebrew is already downloaded. So next thing is we need to install git. Just copy this command and then type in our terminal and hit enter. Okay, 
okay git was successfully installed and to verify let's type git double dash version so now i am using version 2.22 next in our list is we need to install gatsby cli so gatsby cli is used to initialize build develop and serve a gatsby sign gatsby cli is an npm package so we can use npm to install it if you go into their website and let's type gatsby cli you can see that it's listed here and let's open here you can see the code on how to install it so let's copy and using the terminal again let's paste the letter i here means install before we hit enter let's type dash g so that it will be installed globally which means every time you create gatsby you don't need to download it again gatsby cli is downloaded successfully to verify let's type gatsby dash v as you can see i am using version 5.2.0 next is we need to download our ide let's use visual studio code let's go into their website code.visualstudio.com and click download for mac click save based on my experience it is a very nice application due to different extensions available for every programming languages which will make your coding easier it's done let's open in finder and let's double click to install to verify if we have successfully installed visual studio code let's open our apps and type visual studio code so it's here already so it means we have successfully installed visual studio code now that we have installed all the applications needed we are now ready to create a new gatsby site but before that let me show you the project that we will be creating let's open the design i made using sketch let's go to tutorials gatsby.js ui shoot ace and then let's open so our site is all about photography with a name shoot ace hopefully no one is using same company in real life but if there is just know that this is only for testing so we have here the header the hero image and about us these are the services and the gallery and the videography we have a contact form and lastly the footer so we will be creating each of these component while introducing several web technologies for styling data sources etc so now we're ready to actually create our new gatsby site first let's go into our folder i already created a new folder which is gatsby.js so i need to open this in terminal just type cd and click and drag this folder and hit enter so to verify if you are in the correct directory just type ls ls means list of all the files inside this folder so i have the images and the ui which is correct so to create a new site let's type gatsby space new what would you like to call your site let's name it shoot ace what would you like to name the folder yeah let's name it shoot ace javascript or typescript we will use javascript on this tutorial will you be using a cms let's choose no and we will start from scratch we will install this as we go along same thing we don't need a styling system choose no would you like to install additional features with other plugins no just choose done and hit enter so now it will ask you if you want to confirm choose yes behind the scene gatsby is downloading the gatsby repository
this might take time depending on your internet connection. I will pause the video and I will continue once it is done. Our site was successfully installed. To check the files that has been downloaded, let's type ls. As you can see, we have our shoot ace folder here, which is the name of our project. To open this in Visual Studio Code, first we need to go inside our project directory, which is shoot ace. Let's type cd and type shoot ace. Now I am inside our project directory. To check, let's type ls. You will see different files of our project. To open it in Visual Studio Code, let's type code and then period. Period means it is the current directory. So let's hit enter. Visual Studio Code will open. There's a prompt. Yes, I want to trust these authors. So let me explain to you the files of our Gatsby site. Three of these are automatically created since Gatsby is powered by JavaScript using NPM. First is the node modules. We're in NPM store and install all the packages on your local machine needed for our Gatsby to run. Every packages are interconnected to each other since each of them has their own dependencies. If you open one package, you will see the list of the dependencies. Let's try Gatsby. So if we go under the package, the JSON, if you see the dependencies, this list will be automatically downloaded by npm. Next are the package.json and package.lock.json. Same like node modules. It is also important to every project running JavaScript and Node.js. It consists of the metadata for the project, scripts, and dependencies. The advantage of this is if you want to share your project to other developers, you don't need to copy all the dependencies stored under node modules. Using the dependencies recorded in package.json, other developers will just run npm install and it will automatically download the node modules on their local machine. Next is Gatsby config.js. It will store the Gatsby site metadata and the list of plugins needed on our site. Git ignore file is used to list all the files that you don't need to upload in GitHub. As I have said a while back, we don't need to upload node modules folder since it is already stored in package.json file. These two files, cache and public, are folders automatically created when you run Gatsby. The cache folder is used to speed up the build time when creating static files stored in public folder. And this public folder is the production ready for our site. Since we did not yet run our Gatsby site, that's why cache and public folder are not showing yet. Then we have the source folder, which stores the images and pages of our site. Gatsby makes it very easy to create a page by just simply creating a new JavaScript file inside this folder. Using React.js alone, you cannot do like this easily. By default, Gatsby create two pages, for offer.js for pages not found, and index.js for the home page. Inside source folder, we can also add folders for our components, fonts, styles, API, and others. Now let's run Gatsby so that we can see what the site looks like. So let's open terminal by clicking in the menu bar and click new terminal. After that, let's type Gatsby develop. This command is actually inside package.json under scripts. You can see that we have different scripts for develop, start, build, serve, and clean. You can also get all the commands by using Gatsby dash dash help. It will list all the commands you may use. Now let's go back and let's type Gatsby develop and hit enter. This will take time so just wait until it finish building the development bundle. As you can see, cache folder is already created. And in just a moment, the public folder will be created also. 
and yeah now it's created now i can see that development bundle is already done so we have two links here one for our website and one for graphql let's first take a look with our website by default it is under port 8000 okay now you can see that we have a congratulations you just made a gatsby site which means we have successfully installed gatsby and we can see the home page since we don't have any pages yet if i will type to any pages it will redirect me to for offer page so if you want to preview the custom for offer page it will display like this but guys in live if you build it and deploy you will not see this page it will automatically redirect them to this page notice guys that if you are using like wordpress the page doesn't need to refresh or reload when you click to any page so if i will go to home there's no need to the page to reload and we do have also hot reload here hot reload means if i will edit something in my code and if i will type something and save the page and if we will go back to our site it will automatically refresh the content without reloading the page let's try one more time it's working fine save as you can see after saving it will refresh immediately let's add a new page about us that js and then we'll just copy this index page we'll change it to about also here of course we need also to change this one and let's save okay let's see if we have about us page so it's working fine so let's try to edit this text let's make it about us and save okay so if you go to the home page it's working fine so that's it guys we have successfully installed different application in order to install and run our new gatsby site i hope you understood it well if you have any issues please leave comment below if you like this video please do like and share and subscribe if you want to get my latest videos thank you and see you on my next tutorial